Owie, we're going to find out if I have curly hair. It's going to be a fun adventure. Are you ready? Okay, I'll be back. You eat that. You eat that bone, okay? Okay. Yep, be back soon. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on here and let you know that the first few minutes of this video are me just trying products for the first time and trying to see if my hair had any sort of natural curl or wave. So if you're just interested in tips and tricks and the things that I have found work for me in the last three weeks of actively styling my hair this way, you can jump to this time. And I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Ooh, that is that is tricky okay guys hello um this morning i'm at walmart there's a lady literally watching me and i've been sitting here waiting for five minutes to film this but i'm like whatever i'm never gonna see this lady again so why do i care right <clears throat> also if you're gonna judge me for vlogging in my car you need to enter 2020 the doors over there we aren't as judgmental or we aren't supposed to be as judgmental anymore Basically, I've been watching these TikToks of these girls who realized they had curly hair and they didn't know they had curly hair their whole life. The criteria for like a lot of these people is their hair is never like straight and never curly. As you can see, my hair is very just like not straight, not curly, just kind of like bleh. Another thing is that it's really frizzy all the time. Little baby hair is being really crazy. Um, is also something I struggle with, you know, putting it in a messy bun. I always have all these little, like, hairs coming out. And apparently that's a sign of curly hair. But it would make sense because when I was younger, I got a really short A-line bob. The back was super short and it just was curly. Like, I couldn't, like, help it being curly. It was just really curly in the back. And so I've always told people, like, yeah, I have curly hair when I cut it short. But, like, that doesn't make sense that your hair would be curly when it's short and straight when it's long. So I'm very excited. I've watched a bunch of videos and I'm just thrilled. I am so thrilled. Let's get our mask on, I guess, and go in the store. Up in the hill smoking cigarillos waiting on a vision Of what our life would be like If we were dreaming and together we were wishing Cause now I'm living in the city and you're back home And all I'm doing is I'm singing Okay, so I got back in the car. Um, I ended up buying a whole new blow dryer. It was only $17, but because mine doesn't have a diffuser and you can't just buy a diffuser by itself. And from what I've said that read, that's very key. Um, I got a hair oil, so I think you're supposed to use this last um, after it's all dry. This I think you're supposed to use first. It's kind of like a leave-in conditioner, but it's also specifically for curls. And I heard this one was good. Totally Twisted Curl Scrunching Gel from Herbal Essence. Um, it probably smells good too. I didn't even smell it in the store. Oh yeah, it smells amazing. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so this is my hair before. And this is what it looks like if I take a shower and I just brush it out and let it air dry. So as you can see, it's very frizzy. Okay, so I just showered and when I was in the shower, that's what my hair looks like wet by the way. This is like really gross, there's hair all over it so I'm not gonna show you, but I just reapplied some conditioner and then brushed my hair in the shower. So that's what they said to do so that you don't brush it again when it's wet. And then this is what my hair looks like when it's wet, this like sopping wet. So you can see like those kind of like curls and waves. So we're gonna try to work with those. I scrunched out some of the water, but I think we're just gonna go for it how it is right now. The first product I'm gonna use is the Curl Smoothie. Um, I'm really, oh. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It smells very good. And it, this one is like no silicones, no parabens or whatever, none of that. And apparently with like curlier hair, that's more important. So I'm just going to reiterate that I have no idea what I'm doing. Also, it was saying to like flip your hair back and forth um, a lot to like help with volume. Oh, guys, this could like be really bad. 
I don't think I have curly hair. I think I just have really wavy hair. So I'm not expecting like these like huge curls, but you know, I would take them. And the one girl did say, for, oh wow, whoa. Whoa, look at all that. Holy cow. She said to make sure you can hear like the squishing, if you can hear that. I'm acting like I'm giving a tutorial. I'm really just sharing information that I learned. Okay, so I feel as if I have enough of this curl smoothie in my hair. And the next step is to do gel. So, we're gonna go you like I used to. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is scrunch with a t-shirt a little bit and it'll kind of help get some of the water out. And then I'm gonna try this like popping thing. <laughs> Or call me back and tell me something new. So clearly we know I'm not the expert at this, but apparently you like get your hair so it's kind of like all scrunched up like that. And then you pull this one up and then roll this, I think, or like, yeah. <laughs> Twist these. I did it right! Oh, really crazy, but this is how they look. And then you tie it in the back. And then you're supposed to leave it for like half an hour. Guys, I like actually did that on the first try. I'm like surprising myself. Okay, okay guys. So it's been um, just over 30 minutes. So I'm going to let my hair down and we're gonna see. Back in the day in school with the fools when I was younger. We oh wow. So, um, then in order to kind of get the, um, not like crunchy look, I'm gonna use my diffuser to kind of try to dry it a little more. So, I have no idea what I'm doing again, but we're, we're gonna go for it. Anymore, anymore. Let's run it back and kick it like we used to Or call me back and tell me something new Okay, so this is what we've come up with Um, like I said, I don't think it's like curly hair, but it's something wavy <laughs> Um, more so in the back too, and like the under layers than the top layers So you can see that It's just a little frizzy for me, I don't Again, I don't know like if I did it right, but we're gonna do some hair oil, and I'm just gonna kind of like run this through. Ooh, this smells good too. But see, there's some like really straight pieces. Mm, this smells like sea salt, but then like I do this, and you see all these like really curly pieces. This isn't like my favorite absolute look. Cause like it, it just kind of looks like straight hair trying to be wavy, but like, I don't know. All right. Hey guys, so it is now a few weeks later from when you last saw me. And as you can see, my hair progress is already a lot better from that last clip. I've learned so much from reading, watching videos from a lot of my followers on Instagram and friends and family about how to properly care for wavy hair and how to get the best results. I wanted to share a few of those tips and tricks and general advice that I received at the end of this video and then show you kind of how my routine has changed from what you just watched. I will say I am nowhere close to having it figured out and that's something, actually the first thing I kind of wanted to mention is that it's going to be different for every single person, for your hair, for the kind of look that you're going for and for what products are gonna work better for you. Some products may work really great for one person, but really not good for another person because everyone's hair is different. So I've been doing a lot of trial and error trying to kind of figure out like what I liked and what kind of look I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just share with you what I'm doing and then I'll be sharing with you just some general tips and tricks that I received. So the first step is that I only wash my hair every three days and I'm going to be trying to stretch that out longer. You're just gonna kind of have to figure out for you what is the length of time you can go, but the longer that you can allow your hair to have its natural oils and be in its natural state, 
the better. I switched to this shampoo and I've only been using this for like two or three weeks now. So take that for what it is. But I really love this brand and it's very natural. It's sulfate free and silicone free. And that's something that a lot of people suggested and you do see that a lot online as well, that silicones and sulfates are not really great for wavy or curly hair. This shampoo is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench Coconut Oil Shampoo. And this smells amazing, super good. I, I don't have any complaints. I know some people don't really like this brand because they said that it affects their scalp a lot, but I haven't noticed that. And then of course I just followed up with the conditioner. Something that is different from before is that I really just focus the shampoo on the top of my head and I don't run it through the bottom because that will kind of mess up with my waves a little bit. Um, and then I just put conditioner on the bottom, which I've always done, but I let it sit for a little longer and then I brush my hair in the shower. So I do not brush it once I'm out of the shower unless it's still very wet. And that is a really big tip is do not brush your hair when it is dry because it will just get really frizzy and look not very good. And also once a week I've been deep conditioning. I've only done this twice um, now, but I got this one and I picked this up at Marshall's. It's the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Deep Conditioning Minute Mask. Really liked it. I, I can tell that my hair is softer when, after I use it, but something with wavy and curly hair is that you will need more moisture in your hair. So deep conditioning is a must. And I do notice a difference with just the two weeks that I've been doing it. Um, and then again, this one's no silicones, no sulfates, very clean recipe. After the shower, what I was using and what you saw me use is the same shampoo conditioner line, but the curl smoothie. I want to try to use this again in the future, but what I found is when I was using it, my hair was getting more weighed down and I wasn't seeing as much volume. So the waves were kind of getting limp and that is something common. This is just a really thick like custard consistency. And so I felt like it was weighing down my waves. So I haven't been really using this for like the past week and a half. And what I've been using instead is I go to my leave-in conditioner, one hit wonder. Um, I just spray this very, very liberally. So way more product than you think you should be using. You're using the right amount. And then I go to this mousse. Um, I really do like this and it's very inexpensive. So that's a big plus to me. Um, but it's the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. So I use this and I do all of this while my hair is like still relatively pretty wet. I don't really wait till it's dried at all. And then I follow up with the gel that you saw earlier. And this gel I do really like. If I do it in the morning, I will then diffuse. And I finally figured out a good diffusing method. So what I do is I do the hover diffusing. So I'm not gonna have a clip in it of this because there were so many clips of me doing my hair before. But as you could see before, when I was diffusing, I was just kind of like using it like a regular blow dryer. And that was adding a lot of frizz. So what I do instead is I do the hover diffusing where I'm not even touching the hair and I'm just hovering over the roots while flipping them back and forth to give me volume. And then you grab like a section of hair, you put it in the diffuser cup while it's off and then pull it up against your head and then turn it on. And that was also giving me a lot better results. So that's something I have changed. And then the last product that I use after my hair is done, there's usually what is called a gel cast on my hair. So it's kind of hard and crunchy from the gel. So I go in with a little bit of oil and scrunch my hair one more time. It just gets rid of the crunchiness and this helps with frizz. So it's really a great product to have an oil. This is the same brand as my leave-in conditioner, um, but it's just called the Voodoo Oil. It smells really good and it's all natural, um, junk-free formula as they say. <laughs> As far as general tips I got from people, um, a lot of um, girls were telling me the more that you style your hair naturally, the better the waves are going to get. So your hair has been used to years and years of not being able to be natural and not like letting those waves be waves. And so it's just going to take a minute for your hair to adjust. Also, the t-shirt is definitely a great, the plopping that you saw in the video is a great tip. I, I do that after, like while my hair 
has a product, I do that before I diffuse or put it in a braid. Um, I feel like I'm so scrambled right now and I'm really sorry. I might just need to make like an updated hair routine in a few months to kind of show you how I do everything, but I didn't want this video to be too long. So overall, it's been a really fun challenge to challenge myself to just wear my hair natural and to find ways for it to look nice and professional without using heat. And honestly, I really love it because I really didn't enjoy using heat on my hair. I loved the result, but it was always a lot of work because I do have a lot of hair and I know that it's damaging my hair. So being able to have a natural way for it to look wavy or curly and be healthier, I am very excited to see how after doing this, my hair will transform and just feel healthier, maybe grow faster and things like that. I will definitely be making more videos about my hair in the future if that's something you're interested in. And thank you again to all of my friends, family, um, followers on Instagram who suggested different products and sent me videos and tips and everything. I really definitely appreciate it. So I will see you guys in my next video. And if you have any questions or requests, make sure you leave them in the comment box below and I'll be sure to do that. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Let's run it back and kick it like we used to So call me back and tell me something new